everybody, welcome back. I'm the Z-Man and this is Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. And uh, this is... Oh, I gotta turn that volume down a little bit. Um, this game is actually done by the man who's made the rest, Scott. And uh, oh, yeah, this is like supposed to be the sixth one, so... On your pizza, click here for toppings. Well, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, just a little bit of everything on it. That's how I like it. But, um, yeah, this is supposed to be the sixth. Um, what? Shift to throw pizzas. Keys, get the hell out of here. Jesus. Why do you follow me? Shut up, Freddy. Oh my god. You want to turn on sticky keys? Get the hell out of here, Christ. Okay, I've got to do something. Do you... He's let you. Oh, okay, what is going on in the background? Okay. It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right. Restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an hey. inviting atmosphere is essential Ooh, to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we're legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded 
branded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Okay, how to a two-step guide to restaurant management. Use catalog mode to purchase items, animatronics, and other supplies. Why would I want to purchase animatronics? They're trying to kill me, probably. Use blueprint mode to place items, upgrade items, and upgrade your floor plan. Okay. Let's get started. Why would you want to buy animatronics? Let's Why? see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. These condition very good. Hmm. Okay. Fifty bucks. That's forty-five. But it brings me in revenue, right? All right. Lost. Oh. Okay. Pot? Light test. Why am I listening to the Freddy Fazbear uh, music right before he comes eats your face? Gotta keep this uh, train a rolling, you know. Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, on to other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and okay. may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee.
Turn on. So, I think it doesn't say. Come on, come on. It doesn't say. Wait, why would I have to be worried? I have nothing, no animatronics. Oh my god. I have to order all of these? that tic tac and oh equipments am I done great job it looks like you're getting the hang of this okay. now let's just focus on getting you through your first week there's a big party here Saturday and you should view that day as your ultimate test make it through Saturday and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be Okay. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end of day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Uh, throwing it back alley, because why would I want to bring Don't it back? Don't forget Saturday. You want them all to be in one place. Oh, what in one place? Why would I want animatronics? The, like the last, uh, you know, I 
I don't know, five games trying to avoid animatronics, but why would you even want to bring it in? That's what I want to know. Goodbye, Sandfish Stan. There's no clock. You don't have to wait till 5 a.m. Although I'm assuming perhaps printing out these things take a little longer each time, and it, it's equivalency to clock. Someone's going to be sneaking in here, if not already in here. Um, wink, wonk, wink, wonk. Um, I just can't go faster. ovens and the toilet unclogged toilet Jesus Christ who clogged the toilet man that clown man clown me extra be clowning me man it's all the original cast up there Face is gonna be eaten off any moment, just gnawed right off. Or shoved into a suit. Of course, then again, I could be freaking out for no reason. Because I haven't got any animatronics, and those are what that's what generally wants to kill me. been I guess nights one and two and uh yeah 
I, I guess we'll see. Oh, no. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origin. Nope. Put it back it outside. It's your job to complete the Put maintenance it back checklist outside. before claiming it as salvage. Or, you? if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and That's forfeit the That's trap. Please make your choice That's now. That's the purple guy or whatever. I, uh, throw back. I'm throwing that dude back. Don't over. forget Saturday. You want them all to be in one place. One place? You mean outside in the dumpster? Visitors. Nice. No lawsuits. Yay. Cool. Okay. Alrighty. I'm going to end this episode here. I've done two nights, so I guess nights one and two. And yeah, um, this has been interesting. That, I haven't been jump scared, but then again, I don't have any animatronics because if anything tells you, why would you want to invite things to want to kill you into your place of residence? Not residence, but your place of business. There we go. But anyways, thanks guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode. Later guys.